Okay. Um, you know, as many people know, uh, I live here in the Richmond District, and I'm a registered voter. And very recently, last week, I received one of David Lee's mailers stating that he's responsible for, for registering over 100,000 uh, voters in San Francisco. And I was somewhat bothered about that uh, mailer that I received because as Professor Ling Chi Wong has stated in his comments, from the very beginning, Chinese American Voter Education Committee has been a volunteer supported organization with a lot of volunteers doing the voter registration. And I was bothered by that mailer because it may have misrepresented what the volunteers have done over the years. But it also raised a more important question that really troubled me. And that is one of accountability. What has David Lee really done as head of the Chinese American Voter Education Committee for the last 10 years? Because of this question of accountability, what has he really done? Many of us have looked at public records about the Chinese American Voter Education Committee, monies that have come in, and monies that have been spent by KVAC, and what he has received. In looking at the records, it's really a sad story. Number one, from 2002 to 2010, when the public records are available, we don't have public records available for 2011 or 2012, but we have the most recent records for the last, for 10 years. The number of dollars coming into KVAC from private sources and, and contributors in 2002 was over $475,000. But in 2010, the most recent year that we have record of contributions coming into KVAC, the number in 2010 was only $151,000. This is a 68% decline in monetary support for Chinese American Voter Education Committee. You know, dollars to use to support volunteers, for supplies, for materials, so on and so forth. That's a 68% decline. This is an organization that is going down, not up. Then, in the public records, we also see how much David Lee and his wife, who's, I guess, earned some money from KVAC before, but we know that David says he's the executive director of KVAC. In, 19, in 2010, his salary, the money that he received of 91, over $91,000, that constituted more than 50% of the total budget of KVAC. That is a matter of public record. In other words, he received $91,980 in 2010. And the total KVAC expenses in 2010 was $168,000. So that's like nearly 50, he received 55% of all the monies that KVAC spent in 2010. Now, I have to tell you, in my work with nonprofit organizations, and I've worked with groups here in San Francisco and across the United States, from Arizona to Alabama to New York, I have never seen an executive director receiving 50, more than 50% of an organization's expenses. It's unheard of. What is David Lee doing as executive director 
of Chinese American Voter Education Committee. He's earning more than 50% of the organization's expenses. Then on top of that, he says that he owns a business called State Farm. So how much time is he spending on KVAC? How much time is he spending on his own business? This is now the registered, we're here now at 4442 Gary Street. This is a registered office of KVAC. Do you see a sign for KVAC outside? Do you see a sign inside the offices for KVAC? There is no evidence that KVAC even has a presence here, but this is now the registered office of KVAC. It's no longer in Chinatown on the 800 block of Grant Avenue, where it was above the old Imperial Palace restaurant. That's where Ling Chi and Harold Yi started KVAC. There's no indication that KVAC is here, but this is a registered address. So he's getting a salary, or he was getting a salary, KVAC, doing his business, and then he's also a lecturer for San Francisco State. So, so it's a question of accountability. Where is he spending his time when he's drawing this type of salary from a nonprofit organization? Now we also know that today there is the technology to track all the voter registration that a nonprofit group uh, incurs. It's called Voter Activation Network. And there are other software that can be used to track the work that is done in knocking on doors or electronically or at events. We want to know from David Lee, show us, not through campaign literature, but show us where you have garnered this type of voter registration during the last one, two, or three years. What is KVAC doing this year in 2012? on voter registration. Is he earning a salary? What is he really doing? And I, you know, to me, it's a really sad comment because I think there have been a lot of good volunteers doing good work in the Chinese community. But if he's going to earn a salary, if he's going to be the executive director, he has to be held accountable for what he's receiving and what he says he's doing and may not be doing. And um, I think, you know, it's one thing for him to be on the political campaign. That's his decision. But he should not violate his trust with KVAC. He should not violate his trust with the Chinese community. He needs to show what he's doing with the money that he's receiving from KVAC and what he is doing in terms of accomplishment, in terms of voter registration. One other last comment that I will say, which I think is somewhat worrisome and bothersome, is that there are only four people on the board of directors of KVAC. One of them is his wife, Jin Lin, Jin Lee. And, you know, <laughs> it's a small board. What's accountability when a wife is looking at a husband in a nonprofit organization? That is a very unusual situation. Uh, and how do you mix the nonprofit and mix with this business where you don't know what's the difference between the two? And it's really important to have accountability. And I really believe that state officials need to investigate the operation between KVAC and between this private business. Uh, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered in terms of how KVAC is being run today. This, the information is all on out of public records. We're not making up these numbers. It's all from public files. How much from IRS re reporting on the 990? You know, how much money that they have uh, raised, how much money is being spent. We're not making up these numbers. And David Lee has to be held account for what he's received, uh, monies that's been raised, and what actually has been produced by KVAC.